Chapter 10 Life in Tropical and Subtropical Regions Let's learn The Amazon Basin, the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin The regions lying close to the equator between 10 degrees north and 10 degrees south are tropical regions. These regions are hotter as the sun rays fall directly in this region. The subtropics are regions between 10 degrees north to 30 degrees north in northern hemisphere and 10 degrees south to 30 degrees south in the southern hemisphere. The Amazon Basin in South America and the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin in India come under the tropical and the subtropical regions respectively. We will learn about the climate, flora and fauna and life of people in these regions in this chapter. The Amazon Basin Amazon Basin is a part of South America lying in Brazil between the Guiana Highlands in the north and the Brazilian Highlands in the south. It is drained by the Amazon River, which is the largest river in the world in terms of volume of water discharged and second largest by length, that is 6,280 kilometers. Its westernmost source is high in the Andes Mountains and its mouth is in the Atlantic Ocean on the northeastern coast of Brazil. The Amazon Basin includes the greater part of Brazil and Peru, significant parts of Colombia, Ecuador and Bolivia, and a small area of Venezuela. Maranon River is the head stream of the Amazon River, which rises from the snow-covered Andes Mountain in Peru. More than 1,000 tributaries join the Amazon River, making it the world's largest river basin. Infohive the place where a river flows into another water body is called the river's mouth. Here is the map of the Amazon Basin. The first European to explore the Amazon in 1541 was the Spanish explorer Francisco de Orellana who gave the river its name after a tribe of female warriors whom he had a fierce fight with while sailing down one of the river's tributaries in Ecuador. Orellana named the river so since he compared these warriors with the legendary Greek female warriors, the Amazons. Climate The climate in Amazon Basin is very hot and wet throughout the year since the equator passes through this region. Days and nights are hot and humid with evenly high temperatures. During daytime, temperatures are high with high moisture content and nights have comparatively low temperatures, but humidity is high. This region experiences heavy rainfall up to 250 centimeters per year, mostly in the afternoons, accompanied by lightning and thunder. The Amazon rainforest climate has no dry season as it rains almost the whole year. There is no marked distinction between the summer and winter seasons due to even rainfall and high temperatures throughout the year. As perspiration does not evaporate quickly, the skin feels sticky. The average temperature is about 27 degrees Celsius. Infohive The Amazon forests are also called Selva forests of South America. Flora and Fauna the Amazon is the largest and thickest evergreen equatorial rainforest on Earth with an area of approximately 5.2 million square kilometers and harbors a dazzling area of plant and animal species. The dense canopy of the trees does not allow the sunlight to penetrate and hence only shade-tolerant vegetation grows. Orchids, bromeliads grow as plant parasites. The flora or plants in the Amazon can range from massive trees to tiny shrubs. Some of these plants include kapok tree, ebony, rubber, balsa, coca, nuts, mahogany tree, cacao tree and acai palm. These trees are useful for a number of industries such as building, furniture, boats and aeroplane models, paper etc. The Amazon also supports a wide variety of wildlife. Many species of birds such as toucans, hummingbirds and the brightly plumed birds of paradise can be seen here. 
The animals inhabiting these forests are monkeys, jaguars, pumas, sloths, ant eaters, anaconda, pythons, tapirs, boa constrictors, armadillos, etc. Crocodiles and alligators are found in the marshy regions of the basin. Many unique species of insects and fish also thrive in the rivers of the basin. Piranha, the flesh-eating fish, and the titan beetle being some of these. Unfortunately, the forest cover is decreasing day by day due to increasing demand for agricultural land or raw materials for industries. This massive deforestation has the potential to cause a devastating effect on the global ecological balance. Life in the region Many tribes inhabit these forested areas and lead a very primitive kind of life. They hunt, fish and grow crops. They clear the forest cover by slash and burn method. Farming is chiefly done by women while men are engaged in hunting and fishing. These people produce pottery, clear sections of rainforest for agriculture and manage forests to optimize the distribution of useful species. Some advanced tribes live in small villages and build huts with thatched roofs. The wood from the trees is used to make houses. They even make stilt houses to protect themselves from flood waters. Some families own large apartments like houses having steeply slanting roofs called maloka. In the olden times, the interior of the Amazon basin could be reached through navigating the river only. But later in 1970, with the construction of the Trans-Amazon Highway, all parts can be accessed easily. The aircraft and helicopters are also used nowadays to commute. Manaus along the Amazon River has now become a popular port for ocean liners. Belung, also called the port of the Amazon River, is surrounded by groves of banana and palm trees. Brain tickler. What are the negative aspects of slash and burn agriculture? The native inhabitants were pushed to settle in new lands where they continued to practice their distinctive way of farming. The tribals chiefly grow tapoika, pineapple, banana and sweet potato. They also grow cash crops like coffee, maize and coca. Their staple food is cassava called manoik which grows under the ground like potato. Their favorite food is turtle meat and eggs and monkey meat. They also eat queen ants and egg sacs. Human invasion has caused tremendous effect on biodiversity of these unique forests. The number of plant and animal species are decreasing gradually and clearing of forests has made the topsoil prone to soil erosion. If unchecked, the topsoil may get washed away as the rains fall and the lush forest would turn into a barren landscape. This has already happened in many vast stretches of the region. Slash and burn is a form of shifting agriculture primarily used by tribal communities for subsistence farming. Primarily used by tribal communities for subsistence farming, the natural vegetation is cut down and burnt as a method of clearing the land for cultivation. It provides nutrients to the soil, then later when the area becomes infertile, as the topsoil is eroded by rains, farmers move to a new, fresh area and repeat the same process.